What's up everybody, back with a quick new video for you. Today we are reviewing Phoenix Customs Ultimate Super Soldier, aka Captain America from Avengers Endgame, fully pad printed in Lego. This, I think, is the best printed Lego Captain America minifigure ever made. I think, I'm, I'm not even exaggerating, this is just amazing. I pre-ordered him right when it went up last year, so I've had this guy for quite some time now now that he's been produced and it's just started to feel like a bit of a crime having him sitting around not having this video out on the channel to celebrate such a great looking minifigure so yeah without further ado though let's get started now the figure did come in one of these more standard containers as always and once you get past the little baggies that cap came in you've got a really nice collector's card for the ultimate super soldier inside which is always really really cool and uh yeah all right, here he is in full. Take a look at this. I do believe this is by far the best pad printed Captain America figure, best printed Captain America minifigure that has ever been put on the market. This is really pretty much, I think, just about as far as you can take it. I mean, you take one good look at that custom cast helmet piece and it is just excellent. Not only is the design excellent, the 3D design, but the strap connected to the main helmet looking so seamless. Then with all the printing on the front and on the sides coupled with that, it is just the perfect piece for Lego Captain America. And not only that, you also have this really good aggressive facial expression on the other side of this double-sided head looking really fantastic as well. I think I almost might prefer this one to the primary. But when you remove the custom cast helmet underneath, you've got a fairly decent Chris Evans likeness here that still manages to abide by the actual helmet itself. So the mouth doesn't need to be printed too far low or anything like that. It still looks fairly normal, which I think is super, super cool and not always an easy thing to achieve while still keeping the helmet looking that good but keeping it on for the rest of this segment here to give you a better look at the torso and you can see just how good and how accurate that design is. I mean, it has all the different layers of the abdomen area, but also the scales and it's super accurate as well. And I always love the depth printed onto the star whenever I see that and the various bits of detail that are also available even in the belt or on the straps. It's just really, really good. And that only continues onto the arms. The arm printing is just excellent absolutely fantastic as you can see with the Avengers A symbols printed on in the middle of those scales. It's really, really high quality and once again, very accurate. Then you also have the printing around the hands, which is really good as well. Surprisingly sturdy printing there um, for the fingertips, which is really great to have the gloved hands. Then also the printing wrapping around the legs is so seamless. It's honestly almost kind of freaky just how good and how consistent the dark brown looks going around the dark blue legs. Not only that, but you have the detail on the sides and on the front. Once again, super accurate two cap suit in the MCU after Age of Ultron. It's just, again, the perfect Captain America minifigure in Lego and you've got this really good shield as well not sure where he sourced this because it appears to be a base silver piece which is really really cool even though I'm pretty sure it might have been spray painted or something I'm not sure however the pad printed shield design on the front is just near perfect once again featuring that depth within the star as seen on the chest as well this guys is as I said when it was originally revealed the peak Lego Captain America minifigure that detail there extending onto the back just looking amazing I don't see how it gets much better than this which is kind of what I said last time I reviewed the Dark Knight Batman minifigure from him this is just phenomenal and I absolutely cannot wait for his Iron Man Mark 50 and all the future minifigures to come after that but guys even though this is a collector's item went for a pretty high price tag because of just how difficult it is to actually produce a minifigure like this is also still sold out and 
I just have to say it's definitely worth keeping an eye out on Phoenix's page, as always, to see uh, when a true gem like this might go up for pre-order. But anyway, guys, I think that is going to do it for this video. Really glad I got the chance to do this. Wanted to make sure I did before any more time passed. So on that note, let's go ahead and wrap up the video. And for this last shot, I've got Phoenix's original Winter Soldier Stealth Suit Captain America from 2014 and then last year's 2019 World War II cap from the first Avenger. And yeah, so guys, uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. Is this the best Captain America minifigure you've seen printed on the market? Or have you seen a better one personally? I think this is definitely as good as it gets. And I'm not just saying that. However, guys, the series finale story arc for Star Wars The Clone Wars, The Siege of Mandalore has started streaming on Disney+. Plus, and the beloved show that started it all for this channel and for for me in the LEGO community is finally coming to a close and I'm working on a big new showcase collaborating with Andrew from AV Figures to pull it off and I already have been making a ton of progress on Ahsoka Tano from Season 7, the new episodes and of course that progress is always going up over on Patreon as always if you want to consider supporting the channel that way. Of course the teasers and previews and all those edits do go up over on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook if you want to keep up with me before any of that makes makes it to the channel here and will I get back to the Avengers Endgame project for those of you sticking around to the end here with my own custom minifigures absolutely but right now I'm working on celebrating the last season of the show that means so much to me and also Mandalorian season one customs as well because I've been sitting on some pretty cool casts and sculpts to make those figures happen anyway guys it was great to review this minifigure and check in with all of you i hope everybody is okay and staying safe and staying out of harm's way but that's gonna do it all right everybody take care bye bye